hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video i am presenting uh, how we can write a udf that is user defined function as an sql function so basically that is an sql scalar function means we give some inputs to that sql function and we receive a, an output from that so i have prepared some, uh, one example uh, so let me show you that so you can see i have uh, created a source member of type sql so you can uh, give type anything apart from rpg or something else so it can be a blank as well you can keep it blank just the only thing is to create so whenever you are creating this you need a command that is run sql statement you will be creating this function using the run sql statement command so let me show you this so this is a very simple example to just let you grasp the understanding or the way we will be writing the sql functions in ibm is 400 so let's so this can be written anywhere uh, it's not only ibm is unit you can use this function anywhere else in your db2 sql or wherever environment you're using so so i already told that a function which is created using the create function command is an user defined function basically as you can see odd even i given a name to the function odd even which basically takes an input and number which is integer so the data type of that input variable is integer here and it returns something so whenever it returns we will be using returns keyword and what it returns it is returning a character type value of four characters length up to four character lengths it can be minimum but not more than four and it is accepting a number which is integer so basically i am creating my own function as we have already used some functions like trim or substring or something else like sum average and all those functions but here i am now creating my own function which i am gonna be using my in my sql statement so this function name is odd even which accepts one parameter that is number as an integer it can now it is returning the character of full length the language here would be sql because whenever we are creating sql function the language always be sql it's not an external function it's an sql function so in case of external it can be your rpg le or something else like c or java but here it's sql now this is the begin and the end of the function now inside that we will be basically returning the output so i would be returning so within return what i would be returning so i applied the case when so you can see that inside my own or even that is an scalar udf i used a built-in function mod modulus which basically give me a reminder so this is already created this is not created by me this is already existing in db2 mod function basically we have to provide the dividend or the divisor dividend is number and divisor is 2 here and once i check if reminder is 1 then it's odd else i would be returning even so what i'll doing i'm returning odd when i get the reminder as 1 else i would be returning the even so basically i'm checking whether a number which is inputted as an teaser is odd or even so here what i'm returning either the odd here or the even so you can see even is a full length so i am basically taking character four returns here and this is what it is so let's compile this so for compiling i am using run sql stream just see so the source file is the udf library is easy class one source member is udf one 
you just press enter now once it I press enter the function got created so let me show you the job log ftnship x6 so you can see an odd even service program was created odd even so whenever you are creating an SQL function so after an SQL statement our object of name that SQL function name that is odd even of type star service program will get created in that library whose attributes is CLE and here comes the text so if I do DSP SRV PGM odd even you can see all these informations the module was created in QTEMP and was deleted from the QTEMP that's what we have uh, was shown in the job log and attached to it so you can see this has only one function odd even that is the procedure name underscore one now let me show you other thing here if I have to check whether that function exists or not select star from qsys2.sysfunks where function name equals to odd even so you can see that function name is create function is created and it's in library easy class one just take shift of it so you can see the creation date and time routine definer this is the user profile this is the routine body that is of SQL type and this is the external name so you can see the external name here is easy class one so this is the library slash odd even this is the service program so basically it is calling this service program procedure this odd even underscore one which was created so basically this whenever we execute this SQL state uh, function in our SQL statement it will call this service program procedure which was created when 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 I am creating going to when I am going to create an SQL function using the run SQL statement command external language and all those things are skill data reads yes so that's how you can check the definition and its existence now suppose I have to check whether a number is odd or even how I wanna be checking that so let me show you the demo for that as well select a star from so I have a dummy table which I can use In this IBM library, which always return me a character field. So, let's for example, if I take one here, sorry, one here, it would return me that value one, two, two, three, three. So, why not I am what I why why not I should apply my function which I just created to check whether it's even or not. So uh, the function name was odd even. So what I am doing here, the function name was odd even, and I have to pass a parameter that is an input number. So I am passing a parameter three here, and that would return me the text up to four characters. So it would return me odd. So you can see I am getting that this number is an odd number. So this way you can see that my uh, function which I just created that is user defined function gets called uh, within the SQL statement so we can execute them in the SQL statements we can call them separately as well in our program I'll, I'll, I'll surely create those videos in how we can call them in the SQL statements so just wait for that 
let's say four so this told me that that's it's an even number let's take a big number so because i have given a number which is of length more than what it accepts so it is returning nothing it returns null to me so input 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so i i basically took 9p0 as an input so i can handle this as well so so that i won't be able to if i would give any number greater than that i would get some error so i can um, place some queries or situation there or the condition there to check this so let's keep the number in range so then you will see that it's odd if i'll make it four or let's say six at the last so it's even so this way you will be getting that it's an odd and an even number using that user defined function odd or even so let me show you how you will be applying on a physical file so let's say this is a pf having some field let's say i would give some more field to this A. just compile this just create this using option 14 just insert some data one name one two name two three name three 99 name 99 101 name 101 106 name 106 and that's all so if you do run query on this so you will see all these data id and name so let's select it from the sql pf1 underscore d so you will see that both the columns are selected let's select this now you will be seeing that we have selected id and name from this now for example i want to apply my user defined function odd and even on this id to check whether the id is odd or even so what i'll do i'll i can either apply my function here on this field directly so but this will give me that this is an odd even odd 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 even number let's select that as well so now you can see so this is an odd id this is an even these are all odd and this is even now you are able to apply this function on a column of a file and you are able to check whether that's an odd or even number so now i think you got how we'll be creating the function what object type is gonna create whenever we are creating a function using run sql statements how we gonna be executing them using the function in the sql statements so that's all uh, uh, things are being covered in this video and i think this would be a, a great video for uh, all of uh, you who are actually uh, uh, new to the SQL functions and are trying to grab some understanding onto it. So that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice time.